What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having an amazing day today. We are back yet again, bringing you guys some more competitive VGC Double Battles for Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Pokemon Shining Pearl. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing off a pretty cool team that features Hariyama, Trick Room Cresselia, and my boy Infernape. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content at any time, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, yo, definitely like rethink about yourself rethink about yourself and consider subscribing to the channel because like subscribing to content creators really does go a long way so if you guys have been watching content creators for a really, really long time not even just myself consider subscribing to their channel because like i said it goes a long way towards helping them grow as a content creator but uh let's get started here with today's team preview trying to get right into today's battles because i feel like playing some bdsp and have some fun with it but we're starting off with hariyama as our first pokemon really cool pokemon and a really powerful pokemon in the trick room due to its flame orb as item and its guts as its ability Guts over here, so if it has a status condition, it's going to boost its attack stat. So with the Flame Orb, we can proc a free burn onto us, and then we can just roll off from there. So chances are, we're going to lead the Hariyama and the Cresselia, protect the Hariyama so the Flame Orb can trigger, pop a Trick Room at the same time, then have Hariyama just dump on Pokemon left and right. Sounds like a pretty good plan. But uh, movesets rolling out with this Pokemon is Fake Out, Close Combat, Knock Off, and Protect. Second Pokemon is going to be this lovely Cresselia, who is amazing at setting trick room super bulky all around and it is a great special attacker on the side it has psychic ice beam combine to set up that special defense and special attack boost and last but not least we're rocking trick room as our final move third pokemon on squad is probably my favorite and not my favorite but like one of the strongest pokemon in bdsp it really is op in bdsp i wouldn't say op but it is definitely the strongest pokemon in bdsp it has waterfall it has ice fang dragon ants and protect for the characters rock and obviously intimidate as its ability because it is its best ability for this game and last but not least the item we are holding is going to be that lovely life orb to make the characters do a bit more damage at the end of every single turn fourth pokemon on squad is going to be this lovely infernate with that expert belt He's rocking the blaze as its ability, and then this moveset is just great all around. We got Fake Out, we got Close Combat, we got Flare Blitz for Stab, and then we got U-Turn to pivot out and just pivot around. Next Pokemon on squad is going to be our Scissor, another great physical attacker, just like that Infernape, does a lot of damage. It's got Bullet Punch, X Scissor, Swords, and Protect. It's got Technician alongside with the Metal Coat, one of the best Pokemon in this game. It's probably between him and Gyarados, really are two OP mods in this game. They are just so good all around and can be used on any single team. Final Pokemon for the squad is going to be our Togekiss. Great support mon, great special attacker. I feel like Togekiss is just so versatile and can be used on every, any single turn team. I just saw it in my party. I was just like, yo, let me rock out with Togekiss. Get it rolling today. We got the Scope Punch as item. Also with the Super Luck. So most of the time we're going to be getting some crit hits. And then we got Dazzle Gleam, Air Slash, Protect, and Follow Me for this lovely moveset. But uh, there's a team right there. Hopefully we get to showcase to Hariyama, the Cresselia. Get my other boys in the back to get us some wins. And we'll out from there. Let's get after it in battle number one. We're going up against a Sun team with Venusaur, Charizard, Gastron, Storm Drain, Gastron, which I gotta watch out for, Hitmon Top, and Togus. So this just seems like a great meta team. It really does. But I'm gonna try to get Trick and Rolling in battle number one and leave my Hardy on my Cresselia and then bring, um, I'm trying to bring it back. Gyarados could be so good. It definitely could be good. Infernape could also be really, really good with that speed. I do like Infernape, so I am gonna actually end up bringing him. And then final Pokemon on the squad. Do I bring Togekiss? Togekiss isn't too shabby here. Togekiss just. It's just solid all around. I mean, Scissor could get dumped on by a lot of these guys, so I really do not want to roll on the Scissor. And Gyarados, Gyarados is solid, but the only problem would be uh, it's damage in a drought, and that's Storm Drain Gastron. So it's between Gyarados and Togekiss, and I'm kind of leaning towards Togekiss, just because Scope is so good, and it's rather, like, just good all around. What's your speed looking at? 135, you're sitting at 146. You are fast, you little monkey. You are one fast monkey. Uh, but, hmm, I'm going to go Togekiss. I am going to go Togekiss. Yeah, I'm going to rock into it. We're going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to see if we can grab ourselves a win here in battle number one. But uh, let's see who this guy leads. Yo, what is this music? This is a jam. This is a jam. This is an absolute jam. Do you know hit my top and Charizard? Okay, so hit my top and Charizard is going to come out here. Um, At this point, I'm going to try to pop that trick room. And I'm going to go for a fake out onto the Charizard slot. Onto the Charizard slot. That lovely little Charizard slot. I'm not going to lie. Yo, that Charizard is a little scary right there. It's looking a little scary. So I'm going to fake out onto the Charizard slot. I'm gonna try to pop the Shurken. I could protect the Hariyama, but I just feel like Fake Out's gonna be a turn, considering he might Fake Out my Cresselia. So if that's the case, we're just gonna roll out, yeah, and Fake Out his Charizard. All right, cool, Fake Out, pop, and then from here, we're just gonna protect our Hariyama. We have Guts triggered, and we're gonna roll from there. We are intimidated, which is a little rough, but still, we are thriving, we are thriving. Our Cresselia has leftovers, and you know, this music is jamming. This music's jamming right now. Flame Orb is going to trigger. Look at that HP stat. Our HP is ridiculous. But now let's just protect and pop a Trick Room at the same time and roll from there. Roll from there. I don't know if he's going to double down into a... Okay, he withdraws. So Trick Room is basically free. He's probably going to bring out the Ninetales to set the Drought, right? 
Is Noid Tails coming out here? It is going to be Noid Tails. He is going to set the drought. Hopefully, he's going after Hariyama. Hopefully, he's going after my boy Hariyama. Then we can just get buzzing from there. Could be solid for us. Protect can come out here from Hariyama. Throw up a block. We are gut, so he's probably thinking like, hey, yo, we're a threat. He's going to go for that air slash. And we get off that beautiful block, and now we set up a beautiful trick room. That's a huge turn. That's a huge turn for us. The trick room's out and about. Um, I could go after Charizard. I could try to take out, take out Charizard here. Solar power is going to chip up damage. I could go for a knockoff to take him out and try to set up a calm mind boost. That could be really good for us. So obviously, I could go for a close combat, but it's going to be not very effective there. And it could do some big damage on that slot, but my problem would be him having a focus dash with a nine tails, which is definitely possible. So I'm going to go for the calm mind setup. I'm going to go for the knockoff onto the Charizard and just roll off from there. I'm going to end up withdrawing Charizard. So who are we taking off item? He's probably going back into Intimidate, right? Intimidate him on top coming out here? Yeah. Which I could just Psychic down next turn, which is going to be solid. Could swap the Hariyama, but I'm just going to chill with the Hariyama and just start taking off items. Find my play. Take off items, kind of slow play this one down. He's going to end up Protect Nine Tails. That's a huge turn for us. That is a huge turn for us. Protects the Nine Tails for the Intimidate. Knockoff's going to come out here. Y'all eat, send that item. Or take off that item. And we're going to take off his Guava Berry, which is pretty good. The Combine's going to get boosted. We got a lovely Combine boosted. Um, I could hard swap out into Togekiss at this point. But I wonder who he's going to fake out. I really do wonder who he's going to fake out. I could save Hariyama for back end support. But at this point, I could swap into like a Togekiss. Wouldn't be too bad. Hmm. I could go into Infernape, but I really don't feel like going into Infernape. My problem. That would be my problem. But I'm just going to go into the Psychic, obviously. And uh, do I protect this turn? For minus two, I kind of want to swap him. I'm going to swap him into my Togekiss. Top Tokus, and I'm gonna go for a second if we can, because this should be able to do some big old damage over onto this him on top. Let's see what he's gonna do. So Hariyama's gonna get the swap, because again, he's minus two. We don't feel like dealing with that. I probably maybe should just stay in and knock off the items, but uh, yeah, minus two I did not like. I think I was gonna fly through here. He's gonna go in the Hariyama slot. I could have protected that turn. It's like he's gonna fly through here, and I think he's gonna pick up a KO, right? Plus one. Oh, so close. So close. That's fine. We're gonna get that uh, special defense drop, though. Doesn't really matter. And then he's gonna roll out with a Hypnosis onto my Crest, right? Okay, so he puts my crest to sleep. That ain't too bad. This is not too bad. This is not too bad. I'll keep my crest in here. Let it thrive out a little bit longer. And then I'm just going to drop a Dazzling Gleam because it's a double-hitting move. And then I guess we'll roll into a Psychic. Try to chip up some damage on here. But we are plus one on that Special Defense, which is huge for me. It really is. He's going to end up Wide Guard, which is a beautiful play by him. I'll give it to him all night. It's a beautiful play. What's he going for here? Heat Wave, maybe? Or is he going for another Hypnosis? He going for another Hypnosis? Oh, yeah, he blocks it. I'm going to stick with my uh, Gleam. Maybe he'll wide guard again. Or maybe he won't wide guard. I don't think he will. Let's see what he does. Solid wide guard from him. He's going to end up hypnosis. In my oh, he lands two? That's impressive. That's honestly like RNG's crazy. That's a 60% move. Landed twice. That's tough to do. That is tough to do. So we're going to do that. I'm just going to drop another psychic. Drop another psychic. He's going to end up withdrawing him on top. Smart little play. And probably go back into Charizard at this point, right? Char Char coming out here? It is going to be Char Char. Hey, wake up, Crest. Oh, Crest, you gotta wake up there. You gotta wake up. So we still have, uh, how many turns left to trick him? Maybe one? Maybe one more turn left to trick him. He waves gonna come out of here. He waves, uh, gonna chip up some damage. At least he can't burn us. Our sunlight does fade off. Our sunlight does fade off. That is fine. I just realized, are these Pokemon level 100? No, they're level 50. Wow, I was just wondering why they had so much HP. Trick him is gone. Um... I'm gonna go for his air slash into his Charizard. Charizard's really the one that's posing a threat. I'm gonna go for a Trick Room again. If I can pop off a Trick Room, we will be sitting fine. I need this Trick Room back for my Hariyama late game. So yeah, I think Crest might wake up here, so it could be good for us. I'm gonna end up withdrawing Charizard. Probably going back into him on top, maybe? Is he going back into Hip? He's gonna go back into Hip over here. And we're gonna take out Hip if uh, we wake up with Togekiss. We do have an air slash buzzing over here. And I would love to get rid of him on top. Especially if I can wake up this turn. Gonna end up going for another heat wave. We soak that up all day. And Drought's gonna end. Where did Drought already end? Focus the slump crest. Can you please wake up? Let's go, Crest. So Crest wakes up. We get off a nice lovely trick room. Let's get buzzing from here. So uh he can fake me out again if he wants to. He can definitely fake me out. I'm just gonna air slash and uh go into a psychic here. My crest is chilling. My crest is chilling, really bulky, going up against a lot of special attackers. I really do like it. So uh, I'm just gonna air slash here just in case he wants to guard. But I think he just uh go for a fake out here. We'll see. And we'll just do that. And we shall do that. So Trick Room is buzzing with the crest. And we still have him on top in the back with Guts Trigger. Pretty much full HP. It's rolling out pretty strong. 
He's gonna end up faking out the Togekiss. Crest is gonna go next, and he's gonna chip up some nice damage on those nine kills here. Because again, we are plus one special attack. Look at that. Nice damage. Togekiss gonna wake up here, and we flinch anyway. <laughs> so he's gonna get end up going for Oh my god, yo, three in a row? That is wild. That is wild. That is wild. So the real question is, do we go for a Gleam here? Or do we just air slash this? Uh, I think we air slash this nine tails. I'm not dealing with it. I'm not dealing with that nine tails. Oh, that is wild. That is actually wild. That he's getting this off. That he's laying in three hypnosis. Well, unless he's a uh, wide lens. He could be wide lens. All in all, honestly, he's laying these moves like that. He ends up going for a wide guard. That's totally fine. Nine tails might go before me, right? Oh no, it doesn't. Air slash can come out here first. So we have a chance to crit. Maybe KO here. Let's do it. Oh my god. Put him on one. Flinch him. Flinch him. Heat wave comes out here. That's whack. That is whack. He's gonna end up going into that. And I'm gonna end up going into a uh a gleam here. There's no way he wide guards. There's no way he wide guards after just missing his wide guard. That's a nice little play by us. So at this point, we're gonna gleam. We have po two Pokemon on low, and we do have a fake out Pokemon in the back end as well. I'm gonna gleam and who should I take out here first? I take out this him on top. I'm not dealing with him on top. Don't like you one bit. Don't like you one bit. God dang, yo. Bringing him on one and hypnosis is just landing left and right. He's gonna end up with Rolling Nine Tails. That's totally fine. And who's he gonna go into? Charizard or, or show his final Pokemon? He's gonna go into Char here. He's gonna go into Char, and this thing is gonna end up wide guard. Wow, yo, the wide guard calls. This guy's just reading some wide guards. Good thing we're, we should take him out here. Yes, Crest is gonna wake up. Psyche's gonna fly through here, and Charge is gonna get protected a little bit. That's solid. Okay, so you're gone. Get him on out of here. Um, what do I do from here? But I just don't see him having really anything to take out my crest. My crest is just gonna slowly like pest around here. And if trick him ends, I think I could send another one. At the HP, that we're at we're at like full HP. We are at pretty much full HP. Look at that. 215. 215. What a solid first battle. What a solid first battle. Our opponent is playing pretty good. He just doesn't really know a way to get around this. Just doesn't really know. But he wants to get the drought out again, which is a smart play. So he's gonna bring that out. Um my Pokemon are chilling here fine. I'm just gonna go for a gleam and double down into his Charizard at this point. Gleam and go into the psychic here. And I think we should be sitting fine. This should be a double kill, right? Gonna end up protecting. That's totally fine. Maybe a double protect to try to waste out some trick room times. We'll see. That's fine. Psychic coming in hot. Yali. Bring his Charizard down low. And Gleam? I think Gleam should be able to pick up this KO, right? Give me a crit. Use that scope lens. That scope lens super luck needs to come up clutch here. Oh my god, it doesn't. Get out my face. Get out my face. He ends up getting off a big old heat wave. Uh Cresselia's gonna be able to eat up fine. And I'm just gonna bring out my uh I'm just going to bring out my, what's it called? My Hariyama. Pretty much solidify the battle. Beautiful battle number one. Beautiful battle number one. This Pokemon goes down to solar power. He does end up getting off a heat wave, but yeah, we're thriving here. Fake out will take on nine tails, and then Crest is just going to suck you down the next Pokemon. He didn't even show the next Pokemon, has he? I don't know if he has, but I could bring out Infernape. I'm going to bring out Hariyama, because I'm going to try to pop a Trick Room. I'm going to fake out the nine tails and then pop a Trick Room. That's my play all day. Venusaur's going to come out He might put me to sleep. He just might put me to sleep. He just might put me to sleep. But you know what? I'm still going to fake out this thing because uh, I'm not dealing with it. And Psychic will pretty much take this thing out in one shot. We are thriving. And I have Infernape in the bag. Get this thing on out my game. That's going to be GG. Battle number one is in the bag. It is in the bag. It is a bag inside of a bag inside of a bag. It's like when you have heavy groceries and you tell the uh, cashier to double bag it. That's exactly where we're at. We, we are double bagging it right now. It is in the double bag. <laughs> We fake out the Nine Tails. We pick up the KO. This thing is gonna go for a Sludge Bomb. My boy Hariyama is gonna be able to soak and Trick Room. Or no, we're just, we just went straight for a second. I forgot. Probably should pop Trick Room, but Psychic should do the job. It does not. It does not. But good thing Venusaur doesn't have any double hitting moves. We should be thriving out here. We should be thriving out. And at this point, I am going to protect Hariyama because I don't want him to go down. I do not want my Hariyama to go down. But yo, Hariyama is such a cool Pokemon to use, especially in Trick Room. We didn't. We got to show him off, but like, I'm telling you guys, if like. He didn't intimidate me. I could just close combat left and right and just like, pretty much just dumped on him. But it'd be like that. We'll drop an Ice Beam just to have some fun with this one and protect our Hariyama. But I was going to say, I think he cancels, but he does not. My boy Hariyama protects. Let's see if we made the right call. He's going to go for a Leaf Storm. Wow, and he goes into Crest here. Crest should be able to eat that up. Yeah. Crest is so bulky. That's why I absolutely love Cresselia. That's why I love me some Cresselia. Cresselia's going to end this one. Drop an Ice Beam. Straight Beam of Ice right to this Venusaur's face. And we're going to say GG's. 
maybe, just maybe, I should have put it on no restricted mods. I was not expecting our opponent to roll out with the Mew and Raichu, but hey, we're hopping into our second battle. Let's get rolling. Let's defeat this team of legendaries. He's got Infernape. He's got Luxury. Actually, yo, two Intimidate Pokemon? Kind of scary. You got to watch out for my uh, physical attackers, even though most of my team is physical attacking. That's definitely scary. But he's got uh, Infernape, Luxray, Star Raptor, Mew, Jirachi, and Gallade. And Gallade. I really do like Tokus. I really do like Tokus sitting out here for a lead. I think I'm going to go Tokus and maybe Infernape. Try to get rolling there because I can fake out. I can U turn out and kind of do a lot from there. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to go there. And I think I'm just going to bring Scissor and Gyarados. Go hyper offensive. Try to get after this team and roll out from there. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in battle number two. But yo, that first battle was solid. We just had my Crest. We had my Hariyama. Combined them both. Got that Trick Room and just started rolling out from there. But he's going to pop an Intimidate turn one. He's also going to have a fake out with Infernape. I'm going to roll out here with. Mm, that's a little tough. I am going to actually go for a uh, Air Slash onto you. I'm going to fake out this Luxray. I'm going to fake out this Luxray. Oh, that is not Intimidate Luxray. It's got to be Guts. It's got to be Guts. He might protect. He might protect. I'm kind of scared. But luckily, we get off this fake out. I'm not dealing with like a, a Wild Charge coming in hot. He could definitely do me dirty. And he ends up going for a Dig. He ends up going for a Dig. And I do not know if this thing's faster than me. Because I would love to go into like a... Uh, what's called it this turn? I would absolutely love to go into an Air Slash here and a U-Turn Pivot. And I can pivot into my Gyarados. If I can outspeed, which could be huge. And that is beautiful. That is beautiful. Because we know the Dig's going after Infernape because it can't hit the Tokus. So now if I swap into the Gyarados here. Bang, bang. Bang, bang. It's an easy dodge. So I'll, sw I'll swap into Gyarados here. Waste a turn there. And put Infernape down to, uh, what, what would he be? Focus Ash or dead? Unless he's going a uh, Wild Charge into my, uh, into my Tokus. Which it might be able to eat up now due to this Intimidate. He's going to end up going for a Dig. We dodge with Gyarados. Tokus Air Slash comes out first, which is enormous. That's enormous. So Air Slash comes out here, and we just dump on Infernape. So what? Yo, we, we buzz him. We buzz him. We get that crit. We're buzzing, yo. What a smart play by us. I wonder what he's going to go into now. Is he wild charging? He's going to Volt Switch out. Okay, so he's going to Volt Switch into that, and that's totally fine. We, we're able to soak. We are able to soak, and we have Gyarados out on the field. So Luxury is kind of a threat in the back end, but uh, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of scaring me a little bit. We still have the Infernape down, down low, which is nice. So we'll see what he wants to do. We shall see what he wants to do. He's gonna go into Star Raptor for that uh, fake out. We're well, not the fake out, the intimidate. And uh, I think I'm just gonna. I might double down on that Pokemon. This is definitely a scary little bird. Definitely a scary little bird. So he's gonna go there and then he's gonna show his final Pokemon. Unless he's swapping back into the Luxury, which he definitely could. He definitely could if he wanted to. He definitely could. We shall see. He's gonna go into Glade. So he's gonna show his final Pokemon. He's gonna be Glade. And he has two very fast Pokemon. Two very fast Pokemon. Obviously, I can go into this Gleam here. Or I can just straight up Air Slash. I think Gleam's going to be my play, because I'm going to Gleam, and I'm going to double down on the Star Raptor. Yeah, I'm going to double down on the Star Raptor. If I can get off one Gleam with this, my Scissor can really just come in the back end and, and do some work. He's going to end up going for Brave Bird, probably taking out my Togekiss, right? No, he goes after Gyarados. Gyarados is able to soak. That's huge. That's a huge turn. That's a huge turn. Gyarados is going to go next, and oh my god, he dodges that. Get out of my face. Togekiss is going to go. He's going to double connect here. That's beautiful. And the crit on the Star Raptor. The crit on the Star Raptor. That's huge. That is huge. Of course, I missed my Ice Fang. 95 actually, we're missing Ice Fangs? Get on out of here. But solid turn for us. For us. He's going to go for a Swords Dance. And um, I don't know if I should be worried about that. I do not know. Is he going to get that? Is he Speed Boost? No, we still out Speed. We still out Speed, which is ridiculous. That should be GG's. That should be GG's. Because Tokus is going to outspeed uh, both these guys. Drop that and Gleam. Pick up the KO onto the Glade. And then just roll from there. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then we're just going to drop a waterfall right in the luxury. That's GG's. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you a guaranteed winning record. Your boys thriving in BDSP. We are thriving in BDSP. Another double bag. This match is in the bag. It's in the bag. Waterfall pokes out here. We're going to chip up damage on luxury. Tokus should go next, right? Tokus should say, hey, yo, good game. Yeah, Gleam's going to fly through here. Get them both on out of my face. Get them both on out of my face. And is that a sweep? Did we lose a Pokemon? No, we did not. We did not. We didn't use Scissor. We U-turn with our Infernape, and we swept battle number two. Third and final battle coming at you guys, and your boy is dominating in BDSP. Guaranteed ourselves a winning record. Had a solid first battle, swept the second battle, and now we're sitting in the third battle versus the same opponent that we versed in the first battle. But he kind of switched up his team a little bit. Kind of the same. He just swapped out somebody for the Raikou, and I could not tell you who it was. He had somebody else, and I forget who it is. But uh, he has Raikou on the team now. But uh, I'm going to go Cresselia. And I think Infernape. I think we're going to try to pop Trick Room with Infernape and then you turn Pivot into Hariyama just so we're not intimidated turn one. I just feel like that's a little bit better for us. So, you know what? I'm going to roll out with them too. 
bring Hariyama in the back end, and then last but not least, do I go with Tokus? Tokus is looking good. Tokus is just looking good all around. So we're going to lock in Tokus. We're going to lock it down. And we're going to look to grab ourselves a perfect record here for BDSP. But this Hariyama. I saw Hariyama in my party. I was like, I got to showcase Hariyama. He's just so good. He's just so much fun. Let's see who he ends up leading. Him on top? He does. So Intimidate is not going to affect us. I really do. Like the turn. Um, from here, he might put me to sleep. Uh, what is going to be my play? What is going to be my play? What is going to be my play? I might just do this. I might go for a trick room, and instead of faking out, I'm just going to go for a flare blitz. And the reason I say this is because if he fakes out my Infernape, that's fine. I do not think he's going to fake out my Infernape, but I think he's going to fake out my Cresselia. We might try to put it to sleep. That's tough. I'm going to go for a flare blitz. Hmm. It's tough. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to end up faking out my Cresselia. That's fine. That's what I thought he was going to do. And then Flare Blitz can slide over here. He maybe thought I was faking out, but now we're going straight for damage here. And this thing is, of course, Focus Ash. Of course this thing is Focus Ash. I was hoping it wasn't. So he's probably going to put my Crest to sleep, right? Or is he just going to drop a Sludge Bomb? What are you doing? Sleep Powder coming near Crest dies. Love it. That's a huge turn for us. That is a huge turn for us. So he might swap. And I'm going to swap my... Uh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna trick him again. And I'm going to uh, U-turn pivot my... Inferni. That's going to be my play. Good thing we dodged that sleep out. That's huge because I'm going to U-turn pivot out here, take out the Venusaur, and he might withdraw it too. Anyway, no, he withdraws him on top, and I'm going to bring out my Hariyama. Hariyama. He's going to end up bringing out Ninetales maybe? Smart play. Smart play. Brings out the Drought, gets a little bit of speed. Probably going to go for another Sleep Powder. I'm just going to U-turn pivot here. And he goes for Sleep Powder. And we dodge it again! <laughs> Pookie guy's like, yo, Gene, you got to win this battle. We U-turn out of here. We say, see you later. And uh, we bring out Hariyama at this point. Beautiful. Wow, that's beautiful. It is beautiful. It is beautiful. Trick Room's going to be out and about. Ariyama's going to be chilling here. And we're going to get thriving here. But, yo, hopefully you guys have been enjoying all the content that has been going out on the channel. We've been rocking out some BDSP battles. Obviously, Sword and Shield is still thriving on our channel. And we just released our first Strikers video. And uh, next Strikers video, about to come out soon. I already have it pre-recorded and everything. Strikers doing good on the channel. Hopefully you guys are enjoying Strikers. If you guys are enjoying Strikers, go over to the videos on Strikers. Leave a like on them. Leave a like on them. Leave a comment back. Yo, I'm enjoying Strikers. I want to see more. It really does go a long way knowing that you guys want to see more Strikers content. So I can keep pumping it out for you guys. So we got so much going on on the channel. And I'm starting a Nuzlocke soon. I'm finishing up the layout and we're going to be rocking out with a Nuzlocke. Nuzlocke's going to be fun for some time. So we're going to have Nuzlocke, BDSP, Sword and Shield, and Strikers. Four things on my channel. It's amazing. It is amazing. But he goes back in to hit my top. He's ready to fake out. He's ready to get ripping. Um, I think I'm just going to fake out him first and pop a, a calm mind. That'll be my play all day. Calm mind into a fake out. And we'll get rolling here. Because uh, Hariyama is slower, so fake out on my side should come out here at your first, which is really, really good. Yeah, so fake out pokes out here. Yali. And then it's like a free calm mind setup for us. He's probably going to go for a heat wave. And calm mind comes out here first. Yeah, that's so big because that special offense boost is just going to do us, do us good. It's definitely going to do us good. So we do that, we are minus one. I'm still gonna close combat into that uh him on top after this. He's gonna end up hypnosing me. Yo, leave me alone. Leave me alone, please. Please just leave me alone. But we know the nine tails isn't sash, which is good. It's gotta be wide lens. You have to be wide lens, right? You have to be a wide lens. You have to be wide lens. I'm just gonna go for close combat on that. Or I should I should knock off his item, but I'm gonna go for big damage on the nine tails here. I'm gonna go for big damage. So close combat's gonna come out here. Guts doing some mean damage. If we weren't minus one, that probably would have KO'd. We'll take that all day. And we'll see what he wants to go into from here. He might hypnosis me. He'll go for a close combat into me. And that's going to do some nice damage because we are minus one on defense. And now he's minus one defense. So if we can hit him with a nice little special defense shot, it'd be huge. Press is going to be asleep. And what's Scientel's going for? If he goes for Heatwave, my Hariyama dies. Yeah, Heatwave comes out here. Hariyama, thanks for popping out here. Thanks for having some fun with us. We chilling. We chilling. Crest is doing just fine. I was a crit on Crest and only did like 40 damage. <laughs> it only did like 40, yo. My crest is buzzing. My crest is buzzing, dude. Crest is OP, dude. Crest is so ridiculously strong. So ridiculously strong. Uh, next Pokemon we could bring out here. I could bring out Togekiss. Or I could roll out with a Bernie. Bump, 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 bump. Uh, I'm gonna roll out with a Bernie. The reason I do that is just for a free fake out chance here. Maybe I should have saved my fake out, but I think we're fine here. I think we're thriving. If I can land a Psychic, you're dead. If I can land that Psychic, you're dead, and I'm just going to fake out the Ninetales. Even though I think Ninetales might protect. We'll see. We shall see. He's going to end up just withdrawing him. 
So if Hitmontop gets a withdrawal, he's probably going to go into Charizard having this Drought Squad, right? And yeah, dude, if we can land a Psychic, that could be beautiful for us. He's going to end up protecting Nine Tails. I'm going to play by him, and we're just wasting out sleep turns, which is beautiful. Wake up. Yo, wake up, Cress. Cress, wake up here. Cress, wake up and just dump. Yes, sir. Cress with the wake up. Psychic coming in hot. Send it, baby. Send it. Big old damage coming out there. That's huge. Solar power is going to chip up on him as well. Could end up protecting him. I think I'm just going to go into a beautiful Psychic again. And then drop a, uh, I guess, a close combat into that Ninetales. Psychic. And then I could actually U-turn. But U-turn won't KO. So I'd rather just go for close combat. Get rid of this Ninetales here. But yo, look at us, yo. Absolutely thrive. He's going to end up withdrawing the Ninetales again. And hit on top for that Intimidate. But still, that's totally fine. Intimidate's going to do nothing to Crest. Close combat's going to do some big damage over onto him. And we're going to thrive out. We are going to thrive out here. How much charge are going to do? Charge are really going to pick up a KO on me? He might protect. Yeah, Charizard ends up protect. That's fine. That is fine. So he just he just wants to waste out Trickerman, I think. I think he just wants to waste out Trickerman. I think that would be the last turn Trickerman. Close combat's going to fly. Oh, uh, yeah. But I'm some nice damage. And I might just U-turn Pivot here. I think I'd rather U-turn Pivot. Just for a fake out late game. Probably a better, better option for us. All around. And give me one more turn left of Trickerman. Give me one more turn left in Trick Room. If you give me one more turn left in Trick Room, we'll be thriving. I think we do have one more. No, that was the last turn. Okay, so he's probably going to fake me out. I'm just going to U-turn. I'm U-turning out of here. I am U-turning out of here. He's going to end up withdrawing him on top. Wow, he withdraws him on top. And what's that intimidate? He didn't fake me out. I'm actually fine with that turn. We went for a Psychic, and Charizard should not be able to take out my Crest. And Infernape should be fastest. So bang, we're gonna send this. Swap out. Get that U-turn off. We're not even pop. We could have popped the free trick room. We could have popped the free trick room if we wanted to. And we'll bring out Toe Kiss. Now we just have Fake Out chilling in the back. Yeah, we are thriving. We are thriving. Your boy. If you guys haven't checked out my new hat, check it out, yo. You guys know I like the rock hats. Look at that. Look at this hat. Look at this hat. Look at this hat. SCG hat. SCG hat. If you guys want SCG merch, link down in the description below. Use code short circuit on the choir page and get, get a nice little percentage off. And we also have uh, Rogue Energy too. 10% off using code short circuit. Definitely go check out the flavors if you guys are suckers like me with like uh, flavored drinks that are low calorie. That's what I rock with. They have hydration flavors or energy flavors. So if you're not into all that caffeine, go on the hydration side. They got bangers of flavors. Definitely go check it out. Links to all that in the description below. But we end up taking out Charizard, no problem. He's gonna bring out his little fake out mod. Um, do I pop a trick room? I kind of want to, but then I kind of don't want to. We're, dude, we're thriving here. I'm just going to do this. I'm just going to drop a Gleam. Just drop a Gleam. That's pretty much... We're solidifying this battle here. He's going to end up faking me out. And he's going to take out my Cress. Does Ninetales go first? He does go first. Smart play by him. Smart play by him. Cress is chilling here, though. Cress is definitely chilling here. Like, it's just able to soak up so much. It's just able to soak up so much. And I'm just going to bring out my... Uh, I'm my Calm Mind here. I'm my Calm Mind here. Not going to lie. I'm not even going to lie. I'm gonna fake out the him on top of Calm Mind. I might, I might just double down on him on top at this point. I'm gonna double down on him on top. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm just gonna play this one smart. I'm gonna just play this one smart. Fake out you. I knew he's protecting anyway. I knew he's protecting that. So I was gonna double down, but this is a smart play. Just, just in case he doesn't protect. I'm gonna fake out, pose threat on that. Him on top cannot take out any of my Pokemon. And Cresselia goes first anyway. That's GG's. So like he should be able to pick up the KO. Bang, Infernape outspeeds. Close combat's gonna come in here. And your boy does it again. A perfect record for BDSP. A perfect record for BDSP. I've been loving BDSP. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying the content. Seriously, drop a like, leave a comment. Let me know that you guys are enjoying BDSP content. Like I said, all the all the likes, all the subscribers, all the comments really lets me know that you guys are enjoying the content. And I'll keep pumping it out for you guys. The second's gonna fly here. We're just gonna drop a close combat. Another perfect record, dude. Absolutely dominating with the team, which I didn't think I was going to do. I did not think I was going to dominate like I did today. I thought maybe we were going to go one and two, maybe two and one, have some closer battles, but we've just been thriving, dominating, playing Super Bowl, making some good swaps, and just playing our cards right. The Hariyama and Cresselia Trick Room Squad prevails with a perfect record. Hariyama and Cresselia definitely rolled out there and carry this team to victory. Cresselia was OP. Did not die once. Hariyama was super good in Trick Room. Then we had Pokemon like our other four in the back end. Gyarados, Infernape, Scissor, and Tokus to come in, be some hyper offensive, and pick up some big time KOs. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread positive today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.